Eleanor has been faithfully sitting on her eggs and she's got a lot of them. You're doing such a good job taking care what? of those eggs. How you doing back there, girl? Oh, look! Hi, Eleanor. Can you get off your nest for a few minutes to come get a drink? Getting her some fresh water. She's been very diligently sitting on those eggs. Haven't you? Yeah. What do you think, guys? Is that big mama duck clacking at you? Oh, hey, that's full. You gonna get in? I'll back out. Yeah, she's gonna take a quick bath. Good mama. Good mama. Get yourself nice and clean and fresh. These guys are getting huge. What are you guys, three weeks old? Yeah? You're humongous, you know that? You're humongous. There's not really anything to compare them to in the picture, but they're big. Their legs are as long as the ducks now. So, they're pretty big. Just no feathers. Betty here is getting a lot of white down coming in. Sam, not so much. But they'll start getting feathers soonish. Do you have an itchy head, Chevy? Yeah? Is your head itchy? Yeah? This is why bucks are harder on fences. <laughs> you silly thing. How you doing in there? Staying cool enough? It's quite hot out today. She's doing very good being so faithful sitting. I think she's two weeks in, so halfway there. The last two nights we had an apple yard, a silver apple yard duck, um, not come in to the barn at night. Um, the first night I wasn't home. Mike couldn't find her. Uh, he, we thought maybe she was the one that the drakes really really like and she's always trying to avoid them um and she went to hide <laughs> but then last night when she also didn't come into um the barn we thought oh well maybe she's broody somewhere so we went and we did find her um and she was over here next to the wood pile and she was absolutely broody and we thought, well, this really is not a very protected area for her to be having a nest in. Like, there's not much cover. Here's her nest right here. So there's really not much shelter here. And I was like, I'm not really sure how I can, how I can make this more secure. But... Yeah, I thought I'd put some thought in it. Maybe today come out and, I don't know, put a dog crate around it or something. I don't know. Well, I guess I won't need to now. Because when I was just in the barn waiting for the goats to finish eating, because Chevy is so slow, um, another duck was out here just quacking so loud. Like kind of freaking out a little bit. So I came to see what she was freaking out about. And she found her friend's corpse. So, yeah, I did not expect her to be found by a predator that quickly. I thought surely she could hunker down for a couple of days before somebody found her. But apparently I was wrong. So, I don't know what it was. Coon, fox. Who knows? Um, but yeah. So that's sad. But thankfully, Eleanor has been faithfully sitting on her eggs and she's got a lot of them. So hopefully we will have somebody who can fill her shoes soon. 
Um, I'll have to check the calendar. I don't remember how many days she has left. Maybe a week and a half. I don't know. So, sad day. I was just about to write on my calendar when I got inside that this duck was broody. She just did not pick a good spot. Hello, Nora. You being a good mama? Okay. Just making sure. Good job. Just working in the garden, and I heard Eleanor has gotten off her nest to go take a bath. So oh, she hears me coming. I was gonna see how her eggs are doing while she wasn't on there, but she may be rushing back because she's only going. We'll see. And she has thrown out two bad ones this week. One that got crushed. The other one, I don't know what happened to it. Maybe it exploded. So I was just making sure how many are left, basically. And that they're all intact and good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. And they look great. Okay, we'll cover them back up. She's doing so good. Hey, Mama. You're doing so good. You're doing such a good job taking care of those eggs. What a good Mama. You're such a good mama. She's doing so good. Even though she's part Pekin, she is definitely doing a much better job sitting than the Pekins ever did. It's a little foggy camera, but you can see she's had a broken egg in there. Are you taking care of that? Getting it out? It's really hot today. Let me let some of that hot air out. Goodness. I think that's the fourth egg that she's had, I think, explode. Um, well, correction. One of them actually had a baby in it. And... She must have stepped on it wrong or something and it cracked. So she took that one out of the nest. But then that's the third one that has been a dud that's broken. I'm sure she'll take it out. She's been really good about that. The only issue is that broken egg is attracting flies, that rotten egg nest. So hopefully that's not an issue or, you know, bacterial issues for the babies that are viable. They are due this week. So... Let's see, with four broken, I think she's down to 15 maybe? So I think she has 15 eggs left. I could have, my count could be off a little bit, but we'll see, they're doing a couple days. We'll see how many hatch. I'm checking. Eleanor's eggs are due to hatch today. How you doing back there, girl? Oh, look! I see a baby! You got baby in there? Oh, how sweet. Just one? You're being so good, Mama. Good job. Hey, Mama Duck. Did you decide to come out and get a bath? I'm not, I'm not gonna go in there. I'm not gonna mess with your baby. I promise. She's so protective. It's okay, Mama. I won't come any closer. I won't come any closer. 
I think this is the first time she's been out in like two days. And I don't think she's come out for food or water. At least not that I've seen or noticed. Good girl. She's being a very, very good mama. Aren't ya? Good job. Uh, she did get off for her nest for just a couple seconds earlier when I was um, hauling stuff from the barn and I peeked in very briefly. Um, as soon as she saw me, she ran back to the nest, but it looked like that was the only baby so far. But hopefully more will be coming. Oh, I just noticed her baby is down there in the, I don't know if you can see, she's down there in the plants hiding. Hopefully she can make it back up the ramp so that mama can finish sitting on those other eggs. Don't want her abandoning them with only one hatched. That'd be bad. You got your baby in there? It's a good hiding place with all those weeds. I wish you could see, but if I get closer, she'll freak out. I hear little peepers. You gonna show us your baby? You gonna show us your baby? Yeah? You gonna take her back in? That'd be good. Go sit back on those eggs. Yep, go sit back on the rest of those eggs so they can finish hatching. No, oh, I'll keep an eye, see if she goes back in a little while. It's only been about a minute, just long enough for me to put my tools away and lock Adeline up. But it sounds like Eleanor went back inside and baby's not sure how to get up there. That ramp's kind of hard for the little ones to figure out how to navigate. She's probably under here because she hears mama. She doesn't know how to get to her. How's here? Oh, I see a movie. Let's see if we can come over here. Nope, we can't see her. The grass is too tall. Oh, there. See it? See if we can focus on back there. Here. Here's the baby. She hears her mama. She just doesn't know how to get up the ramp. So little. So teeny tiny. It's like, I know you're up there, mommy. How do I get up there to you? Just this once, so that she'll stay in her eggs, I will help baby get up. Oh, tiny baby, you're gonna get stuck in here. You're gonna get stuck down there. Come here, little baby. The little apple yard baby. There you go. There you go. Good mama. Good mama. Well, it looks like she had two more babies, but this black one is dead. I don't know what happened to her. They got squished or something. Poor baby. And some of these, these other eggs look awfully dark. I'm not sure they're any good. I wonder if they got too hot in this heat. I don't know. I don't have a flashlight on me to check, but they aren't looking so good. I'm not sure they're going to hatch. <laughs> that one's pretty new. He's not fully dried yet. While she's distracted, taking her babies to swim, I went ahead and got these eggs out of the nest. They are all very dark, I don't know if you can tell. So I am pretty sure they are all rotten. They should have already hatched by now and have not. So she sat on them really good. 
She's been sitting on them still. Oh, the other one got in. But I don't know. I wonder if it just got way too hot the last couple of weeks to where they didn't hatch. Because one of them got broken this morning and it had a developed baby in it, but obviously dead. So just the two. Kind of stinks. She had so many eggs and she did such a good job, but what can you do? They're so cute. Yeah, I just opened those up and um, one of them looks like it had died early on, very, very early on. But the other eight were all really, really far along, really almost to hatching point. So I, I think it's just the heat. It's been so, so hot and heat index has been over 100 for like a week. And it was in the 90s the week before that. So I think they just got overheated which is unfortunate because she worked so hard, but maybe next year.